We've never in our human history, in our billions of years of existence, have been as sick as we are now. In 2017, I was not doing well. I was having a lot of gut issues, like my IBS was acting out like quite terribly. I was having severe cramps on a daily constant basis with literally just a few hours of rest between one flare-up and the other one. And also my menstrual pain was getting completely out of control. And I had already been to the ER a few times and hours and hours and thousands of dollars spent in the ER pretty much gave me absolutely zero results. So I went to naturopathic doctors hoping that I could find a way out and they put me on a very strict juicing and seeds regimen. I started juicing. I started juicing all the possible greens, all the greens that are so-called superfoods. In the morning before going to work, I had my super um, raw green shake with spinach, Swiss chard, um, kale and powders of every possible sort and cacao powder for energy allegedly and god knows what i i had that every morning within a week i started getting sicker and sicker and sicker now i worked about 45 minutes from home so my commute was about that time in traffic plus finding parking that was the hardest part so uh by week two my leaving the house started becoming a prayer, a prayer that I would get to a toilet by the time I got to work because I started the gr feeling the grumbling in my stomach about 30 minutes in my commute. And by 40 minutes, I was starting to cry to try and keep everything inside my body. And that was my morning routine. I would drink my green juice and pray to get to work. Before checking in, I had to stop at the toilet and pretty much discard everything that I had put into my body. Despite that, I went on doing this for probably another three, four weeks because I talked about it to my nutritionist and they said, no, insist, it takes time. You know, this is natural healing and so natural healing takes time. Natural healing almost killed me. And I ended up again in the hospital because I was sick as a dog. I could not keep anything in. Now, mind you, not just the morning juice. At that point, I was so sick. I couldn't eat absolutely anything. And one day, I found myself uh, lying on the floor in the bathroom, crying. My wife came in and said, what the hell is going on? What's happening? And I said, I'm dying. I'm dying. I know I'm dying. Because I can't sleep. I can't eat. I, I feel like my body is literally leaving me. She said, let's stop everything we told you to do. Let's stop it immediately. Whatever it is, it's not working. And thank God we did that because I was so blind. And because I was trusting the establishment. I was trusting the culture that was put inside of my brain. And I should have known better, but I didn't because I was desperate and I was looking for a way to feel better. So I trusted the experts. Well, the expert don't know shit. Experts don't know shit because experts don't know about oxalates. An expert know even less about genetic mutations that prevent you from executing oxalate even more than other people. And autistic people apparently have 10 times more issues than non-autistic people in executing toxins. And oxalates are incredibly severe toxins. And oxalates are especially present in all of these fantastic superfood green leaves like spinach and chards. And, and there's been documented episodes of people losing their kidneys for excessive juicing and losing other organs, I've almost lost my life. And if you don't know about oxalates, I swear you should better start learning about oxalates because oxalate can create any possible symptoms that you can think of. Oxalates go inside of every possible cell within your joints. They can create inflammation literally in any place you have in your body. It can be from your brain to your joints, to your bones, to your organs, in your inside of your eyes, your ears, in the gum of your teeth, in between it. They can go anywhere. We, we can manage a person that's 
not to say probably can manage about 50 to 100 milligrams of oxalates a day. That's what we, a normal person can execrete. I can't. I can't even execrete that. And that you can find in a few pieces of chocolate or in a, th a handful of spinach. That's it. That's it. That's it. Anything more than that, your body will start storing and will start accumulating and will start having inflammations. So if you get at 40 and you're starting having pains in your spine, in your back, in your feet, somewhere else, you know, it's not normal. That is absolutely not normal. That is bullshit that it's normal that everyone gets that. Everyone gets that because our diet sucks. Because our diet is not supposed to be this way. We're not supposed to go out and grow stuff that we have engineered to be sold and well and to become allegedly superfood because those foods on top of containing all these oxalates that are so toxic for humans also contain what's called anti-nutrients you know what they do with the fiber they take all the nutrients that are in there they make a nice thing around them and they envelop them so when they go through your guts you don't get any of those nutrients or if you get them you get just a few of them that's why you have to eat so much i mean bear with me you eat a steak you get every possible nutrient it's complete you get it all in order to get those nutrients from vegetables you have to eat like such an enormous variety that you have to constantly eat and 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 it's still not enough and then you have to get supplements for this supplements for that and you take collagen supplements and you take iron supplement and you take vitamin b supplements so it's bullshit that we get our our nutrition from vegetables it's just total bullshit and we've debunked it for a long time the only thing we can't debunk is in here because we believe it's better, because we've been made to believe it's better. Fruits and vegetables can save our life in case of need. We can survive on them, but they can't be our primary nutrition because they just don't have the nutrition. It's just not that way. And think about it. I mean, you can have a piece of meat just as is, and it's it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. Raw meat, it's awesome. Oh bite into a broccoli and tell me that's your favorite food in the world bite into a lettuce just as is you take it and you bite into it and tell me that you love it you didn't love the lettuce you love the condiment on the lettuce you love what comes with the broccoli you to make some some vegetables taste good you have to do so much to them that in the end they don't taste as them because that's because you don't like vegetables you like what comes with them which usually is oils and condiments and salt and peppers and garlic and onions and potatoes. And like, I mean, even the potato, you don't eat the potato as it is. You have to cook it and then you have to put butter and sauces, or fry it and salt because the potato on its own, it sucks. I mean, just the potato sucks. You want the opiates that the potato, the carbohydrates in the potato give you that you like because those opiates is a feel-good thing it makes you feel good it tricks your brain in saying you're full because you're satisfied the truth is the nutrients in the potato are pretty much zero it gives you a spike of energy that comes from the glucose and then that energy goes down and you need to eat again so it goes up and you need more carbohydrate and boom it goes down then you need more carbohydrates go up and then boom down that creates inflammation 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 with oxalates 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 and your body needs to work to try and heal try and heal but it can't heal because you have to keep eating you have to give it keep giving it inflammatory um, substances and so it doesn't have time to heal so when you're 40 you're in pieces like i was you end up in the hospital you end up having x-rays blood work all these things happening and then they say well it's normal it's normal you go to a doctor now anything is normal everything is normal We've never in our human history, in our billions of years of existence, have been as sick as we are now. Literally, 99% of people on this planet are sick. And yesterday, I just heard a statistic saying that 1 billion human beings on this planet are taking some medication for mental health. Now, 1 billion out of 8 billions and more 
That is insane. You can't think there's not something really, 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 really freaking wrong with that. You can't believe it. I mean, the epidemic of obesity, cancer, high blood pressure. Like, oh my God, there's just so many. We never have them. We never, ever have them. And it doesn't matter what you believe in. Every single information we have on this planet about food goes exact in perfect correlation with our illnesses. The more seed oil, the more carbohydrates, the more of our illnesses that we have never had before. So if you want to keep eating vegetables because you just can't believe that you must give them up, please inform yourself on low oxalate vegetables because at least give yourself that because they're so linked with so much damage in the human body and it's a cumulative damage. You don't feel it in the beginning. But when you feel it, it's too late. When you feel it, you can't bring it back down unless you go low oxalate. And that is tough, trust me, because I've done it now for five months. I am carnivore. I've been carnivore for five months. And getting rid of the oxalate is more painful than getting the oxalate inside of my body. I know exactly when my oxalate dumping will start because I go to the toilet and my teeth has a different smell. It smells like I know, okay, oh my God, oxalate dumping starts again. And sure enough, by that night, I started having this weird headache that I had never had before in my life. And I know it's coming out. And then the next morning I wake up with sand in my eyes. And that's not sand, it's oxalates. Oxalates are coming out from my ears, from my eyes. Well, eyes and ears. They're coming out from bumps in my skin. My skin opens up and I have this sand coming out of it. I have it coming out from everywhere. And I still consume some oxalates with teas and coffees and small pieces of chocolate every day because I need to make sure that I didn't start dumping too much because I have ended up in the hospital because my kidneys could not deal with my body trying to get rid of them all at once. So please, please, please. I will leave a link, leave a link in the video for Sally Norton's book about oxalates and some other books about oxalates. I have read Sally Norton's book. That is what saved my life, literally, because without her inside, her research and her absolute passion about all of this, I would never have survived. I would not have had a clue of what's happening. Oh, and I need to let you know another thing. Oxalates, especially in women, tend to build up in our, um, in our breast. I have a bump here in my breast that is almost the size of a small um, golf ball. It's huge. Like, it's absolutely huge. You can see it. You can. You don't need to even feel it because it's very visible. I've had a mammography, I had x-ray, and I have a sonography. You don't see it. One thing is, and I'm very sarcastic, that doctors say, well, then we can't do anything because you don't have it. I'm like, but you see it with your naked eye and you can feel it with your hands. It's very obvious. Like, yeah, but it doesn't show up in our test, so we can't do anything about it. It hurts like crap. It really hurts. It hurts sometimes. It's sending, it is shooting like almost like electricity or little knives inside of my breast that like go on my whole chest. And I'm pretty sure it's oxalates because oxalates don't show up in radiology. You don't see them. You see them only in the microscope, which is another really bad thing. And, but that doesn't take away that it hurts and they can become cancer. Had I not stopped eating oxalate, I'm very confident that this would become cancer because that's how it starts. And we have proven research that has shown that, that oxalates are very responsible of women breast cancers. So please do yourself a favor, inform yourself, at least inform yourself, read Sally Norton's book, do yourself at least that favor. I'm pretty sure that your life is worth a few bucks of that book or Kindle, whatever version you want to have. Watch her videos on YouTube. Look at her on YouTube. I'll leave her channel down there too. That's free. Please, please, please 
get yourself healthy and informed. We need to turn around this health crisis we have on this planet or we're not going to make it regardless of whether you believe in climate change or not because our climate has changed. Our climate is completely unstable. So please do yourself a favor, okay?